Welcome to an overview of how you get your survey results out of SurveyMonkey. So here we are logged in SurveyMonkey. We're going to go to the survey title, which we can find basically by clicking My Surveys. Go down to the survey that you want to get information on. Now across the uh, bar here we can see uh, how many folks have uh, completed the survey and how recently they've completed the survey. And there's a few short links here as well. So right now we're just going to click on this uh, survey just so we can go to the, the master page for this unique survey. So across this top tab, when we want to um, take a look at um, who's registered and download the list of uh, registrations or survey uh, folks who filled out the survey, we click Analyze Results. And um, here again, we can see a, a quick overview with the dashboard, so we can uh, hover over and see what sort of uh, registration numbers we have. But if you want to grab all the data that's been collected in the survey, uh, what I suggest doing is going over to Exports. And here we're going to create a new export because we've had some new people completing um, the survey. And I'm going to go down, I'm going to grab all the data. So this is all responses data. And I'm going to choose to download that in uh, Excel format. I usually change the file name as I'm downloading it. So I'm just going to give it uh, the name of uh, the survey and the date today and then I'm going to click to export that. And we should see um, basically as soon as the system is finished exporting it, you'll usually get an email if you've signed up for that and uh, it will also uh, let us know with a little um, pop-up. And you can do other work in the survey uh, while you're waiting for that to happen um, or you can just sit here and hang out and uh, wait for that download to complete. Usually, again, it'll depend on the amount of information that you've collected in the survey. Uh, that'll affect how long it takes for the system to do that. So here we've got this little green um, pop-up that says your export file is ready. And I click to download that. And it's off your window right now, but um, it has downloaded a folder. And so in that folder, um, I'm going to open that up. Whoop. And you'll usually see something like this. Uh, it's your, uh, should be this folder here actually. Um, you'll see uh, comma separated value in Excel. So I open the Excel. And the dead giveaway here is the fact that there's, there's more data in this one called Sheet 1. So that's the one that you want to be opening up here. The one that is called Sheet 1. So in this case, um, I've already gone in and filtered this one, so I'm just going to unfilter it just so you can uh, see what the, all the big data looks like. So what I typically recommend doing is once you get this sheet downloaded, um, what it will look like is basically it won't have this filter on. So a lot of times you'll get uh, quite a bit of data depending on uh, what you're surveying. In this example, we're actually using it as a, a registration uh, form. So what I want to do here is um, go ahead and filter this. So I'm going to go to the top uh, row and where basically my uh, fields are. I'm going to highlight that by clicking um, in the first column to highlight that entire row. And then I'm going to go up. Uh, let me just move my window here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, go to sort and filter. And I'm going to click Filter, and what that does is it's going to put drop-downs across um, all of the information here. So in the instance for that um, I want to just take a look at June 24th, I go to the drop-down, and again, I'm going to move my little window here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to go into the drop-down for that date, so here we go. And I'm going to deselect Select All and I'm going to choose the date that I want and I'll click OK and now what it's done is it's cleared all the rest of the survey data out and I can see just that field's respondents um, so I can see questions they've asked and I can see their contact information which makes it easy for me to then just copy uh, the data I want and in the case that it's emails then I would just paste that into my email to send out to my survey registrants um, so there you go that's uh, the basic on how to get your data.